Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Conquistador. In the last episode, we came back and uh, finished up our uh, trade post. Uh, we've got the stables, the chapel, and the tavern left, I believe. Um, so for now, uh, we're going to go hit up this uh, point of interest and then uh, make our way down, try to finish up exploration of this area, and then follow this road down and see where that leads. Alrighty, let's get going. actually you know what now I think I will go get these uh, herbs all right um, we're uh, doing pretty well there let's go ahead and camp gain 10 meat 15 herbs excellent all right now let's go uh, back and do that point of interest Wee. Uh oh, getting close. Um, how about there? There we go. Alrighty. Um, I think we're. Oh, oh, you're not doing anything. Um, Tinker. Let's actually see what we have right now. All right, we've got. Uh, 25 barricades, 7 cannonballs, 10 lanterns. Okay. Uh, I think we should make some more cannonballs. Go ahead and make some cannonballs. Let's go ahead and camp. Okay. To that point of interest. Let's get these roads charted. Hi, guys. Totenak merchants. Uh, trade with them. Do they have anything worthwhile? Yeah, I'll go with that. That's fine. Leave them alone. There we go. Up, oh, detour. Uh, five wood. All right. Oh, I can't pass up uh, stuff inside a city. That's free movement. Two oil and five wood. Anything else of interest? Not really. This is Papantla. Okay. Let's just uh, clip right through that building there. Aztec Patrol. Your advance party doubles back to warn you that they've encountered an Aztec Patrol up ahead. The Aztecs appear to be aware of your presence and are actively intercepting your course. Uh, let's see. Gauge the opinions of your expedition members. Teresa Sanchez clears her throat. I say we avoid them. Any armed group is a threat as far as I'm concerned, regardless of their affiliations. Bernardo Trevino snorts derisively. Clearly they're, they're already aware of our presence. I think our best option is to attack. Perhaps they're used to people around here fleeing wherever they go, and an aggressive response would take them by surprise. Julio Bretto steps forward. Maybe this patrol has been traveling across the plains, collecting taxes and so on for Tenochtitlan. We might stand to acquire a considerable amount of valuables if we attack them. From the front, Gabriella Ibarra raises her voice. Capitan, arguing about it leads us nowhere. I say we meet the enemy head on and get it over with. Uh, let's inspect the terrain. The landscape here is uneven and devoid of trees, with large rocks jutting out from the ground. You identify the area with your ex with your expedition where your expedition most likely to clash with the Aztec patrol if you were to engage them in battle. It's a well-suited location for a close engagement with a maze-like layout of paths navigable between rocks that will disrupt the line of sight for ranged attacks. Uh, scout the enemy's ranks. You send a few people ahead to find out who you're up against, but they come back with no useful information. Well, can we try avoiding the patrol? Yep, we can. Good. I don't need to attack him. That's seven wood. I'm not a warmonger. 
so many things. Let's get four rope. Nine wood. One oil. And chart the roads updated. Oh, well, some guys are back. Um, let's go ahead and move there. Oops. So we're up to 730 uh, experience points. I could get a couple more people up a level. Um, you could get a smoke bomb. Not sure if that's worth it. Uh, let's see. I get other people up to veteran. Plus 15% attack, 15 points to defense, plus 3 to your leadership, maximum of 3 officers allowed. Um, how much would it be? 7,000 experience points? It might be best to uh, hold off and get uh, Bernardo up to lieutenant. Plus 20% uh, attack, plus 20 uh, points to defense, plus 5 to your leadership, and maximum 1 lieutenant allowed. Um, I think that might be the best option. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, we're out of movement, so let's go ahead and camp. Uh, there's nothing contextual nearby. Continuing to do that. 92% hunting ability. All right, let's camp. Animal herd. All right, another one of these. Let's send our uh, um, servants to help. We've got a total of 20 meat and 110 valuable. 12 valuables. And got a cannonball. Excellent. All right, uh, next up, let's uh, head down there. Aztec Patrol. Let's avoid the patrol. I don't need to, to fight them. Especially when there are goodies to get. Get off the road right about there. Not much around. All right. Then again, I have been through here, so ah, we got a got some to preserve. Uh, five, which I think Miguel can do. Yeah, you can go ahead and preserve. Lost 67 rations. Ugh. That's one of the reasons to um, leave stuff in your uh, uh, fortress. But of course, then you also don't have it available to you when you're out exploring. <sighs> Thanks, game. Thanks, I appreciate that. Well, not much we can do about that. Control. There we go. I'm just kind of running between places here. Pass through the uh, Aztec farms for now. Getting kind of close to... Alright, let's uh, get off the road about there, maybe. There we go. Uh, nothing nearby. Miguel, get back onto hunting. Down to 96 herbs. Ah, finally below 100. <laughs> Alright, camp. Got another cannonball. Should probably switch uh, Julio off of cannonballs for now. Alright, um... For now, let's uh, get back onto the road. Did we uh, gain one equipment and gain ten meat? Okay. Not going to deal with uh, um, the Aztecs just yet. I see you, pig. 
We will be having you for dinner. Get stop moving. Thank you. All right, let's get off the road. There we go. All right, we've got uh, ten to preserve. So Gabriella, you get to preserving. Julio, let's see. Um, let's go with more barricades. Uh, found three medicine. Gain nine meat. Ah, stable is done. All right. And got our barricade. All right, well, let's uh, get back onto the road here. Already been through this area. Ah, uh, that's right. Maybe I'll I'll try catching that on the way back. I need to remember to look through that area. Oh yeah, this is near where the uh, that shaman woman was, wasn't it? Let's get off the road. There we go. We'll camp again. You can continue to do barricades. Let's go ahead and have you hunt. There we go, nothing uh, of interest nearby. Backfire. A deafening blast resounds from the workbenches in the back of the camp. You and your, the majority of the camp rush over to see what happened. You find Julio Bretto on the ground, writhing under a blanket thrown over him by two of the servants. Smoke rises from under the blanket. The workbench he was working on has been blown apart. What happened? Isn't this basically the same thing that happened before? Julio was doing some sort of work involving oil, and it must have backfired. There was fire everywhere. That's, uh, Rosalia, I think. I don't think she's, a, a an event with her as a portrait pop has popped up before. Get him to the medical condition at once, and clean up this mess. Yes, Capitan. Padilla calls for a few servants to fetch a cot from the medical tent, and they carefully place the unconscious groaning Julio on the cot, and carries him away. Well, shucks. Way to go, Julio. Way to go. Seven metal. All right, we're getting towards the uh, unexplored areas now, and more herbs. Herbs, come on, let me click on you. Oh, and other stuff. Herbs. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that. Ten wood. Uh, I think we've kind of explored through that area, so let's get back onto the road. Let's go that way. There we go. All right, critical burns. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Well, at least we've got all this medicine. Leo has improved, uh, gained 7 rations and 10 meat, but we lost 47 wood. Uh, 46 wood, I'm sorry. Oh. Alright, that, that guy leaning against the, uh, the tree, we'll get that, we'll get to him later. More importantly, there's loot. And herbs. I'm glad our horses can uh, climb over these uh, cliffs here. Uh, still being treated. Nothing preserved. There we go. Uh, gained 15 meat and three medicine. Excellent. And how much do we get? Seven herbs. Okay. All right, let's go visit this guy. See what's going on here. Wounded native. From a short distance away, you hear a weak groan followed by a rasping call for help in a native language. Let's investigate. We could just continue on. 
Following the noise to its source, you find a wounded native lying face down in a bush, holding his hand over a serious stomach wound. His blood-stained clothing and equipment marks him as a Totenak warrior. As you approach, he turns his head to you and whispers weakly in broken Spanish. Shining woman, please help. Hurt. Aztec attacked. Medicine, please. As you near the warrior, Gabriella rides her horse over to your side. Please excuse me, Capitan Dragon, but surely you don't plan to use our, our medicine to treat this man. What happens if we start falling sick ourselves? We need, the, we need the medicine for our own people. I think we have plenty. 618 medicine. I think we have plenty, Gabriella. I'm sorry if you have misgivings, Ibarra, but I will not ignore a person in need. Oh, Gabriella has lost morale. Gabriella! If you must, Capitan, but for the record, I am not happy about it. With Gabriella Ibarra apparently appeased for now, you turn back to the wounded warrior. Strip him and leave him! Kill him and take his possessions. Now, have a doctor heal him with 20 medicine. Gain 25 experience points. You gesture to, to Teresa, and she takes medicine from the cart and hurries over. The doctor kneels over the warrior and begins to tend to the wound, cleaning it and dressing it as best she can before returning to you. Uh, prices offered by Totenak merchants have improved. Altruistic followers have gained morale, and greedy followers have lost morale. God damn it, people. We have plenty. I suppose that is the definition of greed, though. After taking a moment to overcome his pain, the warrior looks you in the eyes. Even in his compromised position, you sense a great strength and gratitude from him. Thank you, Shining Woman. Totenek will know of day you saved me. Thank you. Frankly, I'm already regretting it. I'm leaving. I'm always glad to help the Totenek. Will you be all right? Yes, I stay here, heal, return home. Then, I am fine. Although it's hard to believe, the warrior already seems much better than before. After making sure the treatment will hold, you back your carts up and head down the road. Well, we did our good deed for the day. Ah, let's go find some natives to slaughter. That was that was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, any, ah, 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 I see treasure. I see treasure. How do I get to the treasure? There it is. All right, let's go get it. Excellent. Uh, how are we doing on morale, anyway? 11, 10, 10, 9, 9. 10, 10, 10, 9. 9, 9. 10, 9, 10, 9. Alright, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Alright, still being treated, treated, Julio. Because you're dumb. You got yourself burned. Let's go ahead and camp. Lost six medicine, gained ten meat, and four rope. More importantly, 276 valuables. Fantastic. Uh, is there anything? There is an exotic flower. Oh, I want to go look at that. I see you, piggy. I will return for you one day. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day. All right, he now has harmless burns. Let's go ahead and camp. Uh, seven oil and ten meat. Not bad at all. The exotic flower. As you ride, uh, as you ride, Pedro Alvarado comes up alongside you and asks for your attention. Excuse me, Captain Dragon. Just behind us, I saw a rare flower I did not recognize. If you are willing, could we stop for a moment so that I can examine it? I suspect it may be medicinal. It looks similar to common medicinal herbs, but is most unusual. But is a most unusual shade of bright pink. We have enough medicine as it is. We keep moving. Sorry, Alvarado. We cannot afford to stop now. Well, I suppose we can always use more medicine. Of course, Alvarado. If this flower could be useful for medicine, we should examine it. Wonderful. I knew you would understand the importance of such research. Let's turn your caravan around. You turn your caravan around and slowly head back to where Alvarado had found the flower. Alvarado dismounts and leans over a small ditch with a bright pink flower growing out of it. After moments of careful examination, Alvarado gingerly picks the flower out of the ground and walks over to his cart. Unpacking his medical equipment, he begins to grind down the flower with his mortar and pestle. 
And hey, look, we just got our 20 uh, medicine back. Pedro examines the powder for a while longer, mixing it with liquids and carefully picking apart the remaining dust. Finally, he seems to be done. It appears I was correct. This plant is fairly has po fairly potent medicinal value, much more concentrated than most herbs. I will start the process to make it into medicine immediately. Well, lucky for you, then. Let's go. You can make the medicine on the road. <laughs> Great. I'm glad you were right. Alvarado beams proudly. What, he, he, he doesn't gain uh, any uh, any morale or anything for that? Aww. All right. Now that we're done with that, there is a piggy to find. Piggy. I'm coming for you, piggy. You will make a most delicious sandwich. Alright, nothing of interest nearby. Pedro is going to continue to herbalize. Let's go ahead and camp. Found 155 valuables. Lost 44 wood. Gained 10 meat. Oh, you know what? I think I uh, missed reassigning uh, Julio. Oh, well. Not that big of a deal. Alright, Piggy. I know you were around here. Where are you? There. So many goodies. Uh, let's go get the uh, valuables first. Valuables are more valuable. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Coming for you, piggy. Thank you. 14 meat. Uh, two oil. And I'm out of movement. Alright, let's camp. Uh, nothing nearby. Um... All right, Julio, uh, let's tinker. Let's go ahead and have you make more barricades again. Uh, we've got a lot to preserve, so uh, you can preserve. Excellent. 85% hunting, unfortunately. Caught with your pants down. Uh-oh. You wake from dreams of battle in the dark of night, your sweat-soaked blanket clinging to your body. But the sounds of alarm, rushing feet, and clanking metal do not cease as you shake the drowsiness from your head. Your camp is under attack. Leave your tent. Tribal warriors already spread throughout your camp, having somehow snuck past your defenses before attacking. We had a 94% guard ability. Come on. Your people appear to have been entirely unprepared. Having jumped out of bed with no armor, each of them armed only with a knife. Mercifully, your group is at least mostly gathered in a tight formation at the center of the camp. Let's uh, go on the offensive with tactics easy. You jump into the fray and quickly reassert your authority, gathering your people in an offensive formation. Thanks to your swift arrival and stern tactical commands, you will be able to meet the initial attack head-on. Begin battle. All right. Uh, Bernardo, Isabella, Rosalia, Gabriela, Anna, and Pedro. Let's actually check our equipment. I've got two spare equipment. Alvarado can have both. Um, I could boost him up to that. I don't think I will. Uh... Yeah, it's basically the same for everyone. Alright, let's... to battle! Alright, so here is our uh, camp. We are... we do have a preparation phase. There are at least two shamans. Alright, so we've got um, a veteran champion there. We've got a veteran warrior there. Trapper. Amazon, Warrior, Trapper, Shaman, and Shaman. Okay, lots of veterans, lots of uh, uh, men at arms. Um, I don't see anything to our rear, which is fantastic. That is a rock or a stump of some sort. All right, let's see. We can move people, so... Whoops. Be there. We can only have one person uh, 
meet them there. I might actually let them come out a well. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so I could get someone right up there. Uh, I could get someone right there. I can get two people there. In that case... Let's do that. I suppose I could put down barricades and block off their pathways, but... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should do that. Let's see, I can't put one there. I could put one there. Uh, I don't think putting one over here would make much good, but I could put one right here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. There we go. Alright, in that case, uh, let's go ahead and reposition people a little bit so that we can go after these guys. Uh, Anna, go ahead go there. Uh, Bernardo, get there. There we go. Alright, now, what are we looking at in terms of other movement abilities? Can they go around this tree here? Yeah. Looks like they can. Well? No, maybe not. I hate this undergrowth that I can't see the, uh, um, the tiles. I wish there was some kind of, like, brighten the tiles option or something like that. This episode might go a little bit long because, uh, um, we're almost at the end of the time, but, uh, let's go ahead and get there and start beating down this guy. And you know what? I think I might actually move Anna up here, since she does not have a, uh... Ah! You know what? We really are stuck with knives. Alright, this really sucks. Yeah, dagger. Oh, god. We don't even have, uh, um... Ranged weapons. Oh, this is horrible. Go there. Let's go there. I, I. You, you don't either. All right, let's get you out there. You've got uh, one though. Let's get you there. And quick shot this guy. Excellent. Come on, hit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, see, can I move these guys? Oops. Alright, he is out of movement. Alright. Oh, you know what? They can come around that way, and I totally missed that trapper there. Damn it! That was kind of dumb. Oh well. Um, maybe we will go up and around and... and take the fight to them. I don't know. Oh, hey! Alright! Ah, <gasps> oh, bastard. Well, blocking off the, uh, um... Alright, no, you're moving back. You better not be... Nope, okay, miss. Coming around back. It's okay. Ow. Alright, the champion's coming down. He did not have enough to do anything, though. That's good. I probably cannot get our... Oh, no, I can't. Alright, I can move there. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and cure him. Alright, I could have Anna jump back there. And we get flanking on that guy. Um, just that one guy. I think that would be worthwhile. Let's get a little stab in. 
Um, let's stun that guy. Oh. Let's attack this guy. And... Attempt to just stun this guy as well. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, um... 86%. 86%, alright. I don't know when this is actually useful. I mean, I suppose it might be useful over a long distance or something like that, but... Alright, 18 to 22... Ah, that's blocked. 29 to 35, let's go after that guy. There we go. Well, everyone has, uh, attacked, so... Going after Anna, uh... I might faint back through that guy after we, uh, get a couple, uh... Oh, no, I probably won't be able to. Ow! Oh, crap. Ouch! Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and get a flank attack on this guy. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, um... You have quick shot again. 29 to 35. Two good shots should take this guy out. Uh, we need a really good shot to take this guy out. So, yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, um... Now we don't have... Okay, no, we can't faint. Uh, so in that case... Kill that guy. bit of damage, I guess. You know what? I could have used Sneak and gotten her right there, and then uh, I'd have gotten a, a flank. But, alright, you're done. You have not moved. Um, who should I heal? Okay, you really need it, but you can't get out of there. Can I sneak you anywhere? Not really. Well, let's move you there anyway. So you're a bit closer. Uh, and we'll get a flank attack, uh, although... 54. That guy is definitely is probably going to go after her. Uh, in which case, um, let's cut that short and hopefully kill this guy. <laughs> that was not killing that guy. Now we're all really bunched up. <laughs> Ow! Now we got another poisoned person. After yeah. Anna. Uh oh. Anna <laughs> might go down. Yeah. Anna went down. Yep. Not good. Yeah. I gotta get over there and heal her real fast. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, so lucky. Yeah. So lucky. Alright. Uh, Isabella, you, uh, you are in bad shape. Um, so you've got one endurance. Come on. Alright. Let's just shoot you. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Alright. Kill him. Thank you. Let's get here. Uh, let's go ahead and restore. 
40. All right. Uh, can we get over there? Yes, we can. Good. All right. Who else do we have? Isabella. Stun the uh, um, shaman. No one else that we can really move right now. Could try. I could move Isabella. No, I can't because uh, that the Amazon would get an attack. All right. Um. Try bringing uh, uh, Anna back up. Um. Should probably uh, pull Pedro back a bit. So that we're not quite all bunched up. All right, there we go. Uh oh, ow! Ah, oh, crap! All right, Isabella's gonna go down. Oh, oh no! What after? Nope. Now she is. Yep. Wow, 57 damage. This is pretty horrible. Um. All right, I gotta get uh, someone up. But. First, stun. Alright. Oh, actually... Maybe that wasn't the best of ideas. Well, actually, I can stun that guy and then move. Seventy-nine percent. If I uh, get a little bit closer. Quick shot. Yeah. All right. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and revive Anna. Still have a lot of injured people, though. Alright, Anna at least is uh, kind of blocked by some people, and they'd have to either use a tactical move, or they'd have to uh, take an attack of opportunity to move away. But we are in very precarious uh, uh, circumstances back here. Good! Ow! Oh, man. Alright, um... Who can we kill? should probably go after this guy. Or that Amazon. Okay, good. Alright, with Anna being up, um... Let's cool down in three turns. Let's move there. Alright. But I can't always move in, uh, attack, and then sneak out, so that is uh, something that I can do. 95%? Um, okay. Oh, I really want to get in there and heal up his... Uh, you, uh could move you. Let's move you there. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up this poison. It's pretty important. We've got a while for that to come back, so I might not be able to get her back up in this uh, battle. Alright. Uh, everyone has moved. Yep. Tactical move out of there, huh? Oh, God. 
Ah, oh, Anna's down again. I hate you. <sighs> really, really hate you. Definitely not going to have a flawless victory here. All right, let's go after the the shaman. The shaman is pissing me off. There we go. All right, get get in. Uh, actually, let's hold off. Uh, you have already moved. All right, so next up, Gabriella. Quick shot. 71% chance. Oh, come on. Yeah. There we go. Uh. Ow. Uh. Great. Well, it was only one point of damage. All right. 95% chance. There you go. Not quite enough to kill, but... Yeah. Stun. Get around behind. Get a flanking hit. Excellent. Um, not quite... Well, let's see. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Let's take care of that poison. There we go. Alright, and next turn I'll be able to bring someone back. Of course, uh, someone is going to stay down. Yeah. Ooh, oh, good. Alright. Quick shot. Oh, come on. Got an 81% chance now with that. You have got to be kidding me. Let's go get Anna back up. Stand there so that we're kind of in the way, just in case. Hello! There we go. There we go. Alright. Can we get Bernardo up to... Oh, that's right. I've got this... Uh in the way. Well, let's, uh... There, and... How far can you go? Right there. Okay. She's actually not doing so hot herself. Ah, oh, poison again? I got a little bit back. There we go. Alright. So, Isabella has severe lacerations and Vidal has uh, moderate ballistic trauma. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Despite having left their equipment in the tents, your people fight like lions under the, your command, and the attack is quickly repelled. Your servants reappear cautiously from the outskirts of the camp, having largely been left in peace by the tribals. And they help you scavenge what they, what, you, what they can from the fallen enemies. So it looks like we got 450 valuables, 6 medicine, 9 rations, and 2 rope. Nobody gets much sleep for the rest of the night. Julio did manage to, uh, um, make a barricade, and their conditions have deteriorated? That, that's ridiculous. Now, it's severe trauma and critical lacerations. Great. All right, well, uh, we'll call this an episode, and in the next one, we'll have to take care of them. That's really annoying. All right, see you then, everyone.